Good morning, guys. It is currently Sunday at 9 a.m. You know when you just wake up and you know the day is going to be great and amazing? That is exactly what I'm having right now. Woke up super early, but it felt good. And I've just been doing random things, then took a little nap in between then. And now I'm up and I feel so rejuvenated and amazing. And I honestly think, well, okay. I have a sinus infection right now and I have just been having the hardest time when it comes to breathing and just functioning normally. <coughs> I swear it was because I had that one really bad cold <coughs> over winter and ever since then I just have not been the same because it was like that extreme of a sickness. And I just got done making myself breakfast but before I show you guys my breakfast I have to say one thing. So I switched to vegan quite some time ago and I did it for a really long time. And then all of a sudden, my hair started getting super thin and my skin started getting really bad. And I know that this is an issue that a lot of people run into when they're turning vegan. And honestly, like, my hair has always been, like, my thing and just something that I never realized how appreciative I should have been of it. Because the moment I started watching my hair fall out and how thin it got... I like literally was having panic attacks and I thought I was going to go bald. I was freaking out. So I did all this research. The acne I didn't really care about, but this whole hair issue, no, 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 no. So I looked it up on YouTube and like a bunch of other things as to like why my hair might be falling out. And like a bunch of people talk about how going vegan made them lose their hair and blah, 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 blah. And honestly, after reading why it's happening like i completely understand because when you do go vegan you tend to go more towards carbs and easier foods and i didn't really take the time to get a lot of proteins in through vegetables and beans i just like carb 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 and about a year ago i would eat so many grams of protein it's not even funny i try to get around 50 grams of protein no I would try to get like 70, 80 grams of protein. I used to get a lot of protein and uh, yeah, just doing that switch was not good on my body. So honestly, I have taken out any cow products or dairy or just anything that comes from a cow and any pig products or just any animal that has four legs. I am still allowing myself now to have chicken, turkey, eggs, and fish because even though I, it's not completely vegan, it is a step in the middle and that's where I think I need to be right now for the first few months to like get my body adjusted and get more educated on going vegan um, because I already just have such a sensitive stomach and just a sensitive body to food that by going from one extreme to the other just like really took a toll on me and I was wondering why I was so tired. I was wondering all these things and like literally all just came down to lack of nutrition when I didn't realize it was lack of nutrition. So I'm just going back in the middle by only eating chicken, turkey, any like chicken or turkey products and then fish. And I mean two of my meals will be completely vegan maybe um, but I just I have to get my protein from somewhere so. That's where that is. And also my eggs come from my mom's house because she has her own chickens and her eggs. So I don't even feel like that even counts as like a meat product because I see how happy these chickens are. I see like my mom love on her chickens. Like there's no way that is inhumane or cruel. But yeah, that's just my little spiel about diet. And I also want to say that before... Um, I got into this vlog because I know that uh, I'm going to start getting back into working out like hardcore and I know my meals are going to be shown a lot and I know that in the beginning of my channel there was a lot of vegan stuff but now it's going to be middle. <laughs> What's up guys? Good morning. So today is going to be day one of the whole fitness stuff. I just got out of the shower. And I take a shower right when I wake up. So by the time I'm back, I promise my bed will be made. I just don't care right now. Um, but yeah, so this is day one's body. I know it's not like I'm in crazy bad shape. 
I'm just not happy with my body because honestly I'm way too skinny than I like. I actually want to be a little bit more curvier. I want my legs to be more musclier. I want my butt to be bigger. I, you know, I don't think my stomach is that bad actually. I don't think I want crazy abs this time around because uh, they just look kind of manly, I'm not gonna lie. Like, they're cute, they're cool and all, but I kind of just like a cute, like, flat belly. Like, this needs a little bit of tonage, but nothing bad. Um, arms are chicken arms again. This is the best I got for you guys right now. <laughs> I'm just really tiny right now, and that's not my goal. I want to be strong and just more curvy, and yeah. So this is the day one. <laughs> I currently have to get ready and like clean my house because I just got back from Florida. And I'm doing intermediate fasting today, so I'm not going to be eating until 12, 1 o'clock. Probably 12 because I'll be hitting the gym around 12, 31. And so yeah, I don't eat until 12 or 1 because um, I'll do a whole video on intermediate fasting, but just know that that's what I'm doing right now. And, um, uh, so yeah, I'll show you guys my lunch, then we'll go to the gym, and then I'll show you guys a little bit of the mental health stuff I do throughout my day, because I never show it, like, I just talk about it, but I'm never showing, like, what I'm doing. So this new kind of video thing I'm going after right now is definitely going to be more fitness and mental health based, but more so where I'm showing you guys day to day and little messages throughout my day and also all my workouts. I hope you guys don't mind the change, but I'm ready to take this body to the next level and that's what this channel was also supposed to be about, so I'm getting there. Wow, like I actually, in the mirror, I look so much more toned than my camera, I'm like, this is actually a good before. I'm pretty pleased, like my body is literally not where I ever want it to be, so I'm kind of happy that I get to show you guys like the transformation. I didn't think like there'd be that good of one, but yeah, you could just tell I'm like kind of skinny fat right now, not gonna lie, and I hate it. So my camera is yelling at me that's about to die, so that means it's time for me to stop talking. <laughs> and um, I'm going to get to all my morning shenanigans, and I'll see you guys after. Okay, so right now I'm going over this book, The Akashic Records. It's a, an amazing freaking book. And there's some very powerful affirmations that are in this book that I highlighted. And now I am currently writing them down on post-its. Ew. I'm writing them down on post-its and I'm going to put them in my bathroom so that way every morning I have releasing affirmations and then I also am going to have my um, empowering affirmations. I just feel like I really, really need to start saying affirmations in the morning. I'm going to make a few of my own and hang them in my bathroom because I normally obviously spend some time in the bathroom every single morning when you're brushing your teeth, when you're doing your makeup, when you're doing your hair, whatever. And you can just literally stare at these affirmations and say them out loud while you're doing things. And I just, I, I really feel like it's something I have prolonged for so long. So I'm finally doing it today with my little anxiety crystal. And yeah, so some of these, so these are the releasing affirmations. I release the negative energy from any difficult experience of the past. And basically these records are all about um, karma and your past lives. It's just it's a crazy book. I'll get more into it in the future. But for now, I'm writing out all these affirmations. I finished my affirmations and this is where I put them in my bathroom because I obviously get ready right here. And while I'm getting ready, I can just be like, my body is healthy and vibrant, grounded and energetic. Divine consciousness fills every cell. And this is exactly what I mean when it's like, you could just be taking your mental health so seriously, but so easily just by like the right little things that you do for yourself, like this right here. Like every time I come into my bathroom, I could just pick one at free will and I make my own choices. I no longer need to 
respond according to hidden intentions. Like, that's it. And then walk out. Brush my teeth. Read, like, read something. Just, like, always having it right here will help you so much. Same with my bracelets. Like, you guys don't understand how far jewelry goes. Like, every time I look at these guys, these are my crystal bracelets. I think of an elephant and the wisdom elephants have. I think of Buddha, and then I think of the evil eye and then I think of what all my crystals mean and like I'm just constantly keeping my mind in that place always 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 so no matter what like my Buddha right here reminds me like you just need to put things in your path like every single direction you look you're looking at something that is, is inspiring you to be above and greater and honestly it's it's crazy but like it truly does help you like it's insane um, so yeah, that's my new little affirmation board. And then I have my dream board right here. And then this actually needs to be hung up. But these are my goals for this month. And I'm gonna hang it right here. So literally like everywhere I look, I'm just constantly putting my place, putting myself in a place of a very healthy mind because I'm, you guys can already, you guys already know how tired I am of my mind. So that is just basically how I keep up with daily fitness and daily mental health. This is the first time putting them hand in hand, but I know that once I do bring fitness back in, I'm not gonna have as much time for my mental health, so I'm trying to make it as easy as possible with a busy schedule to constantly stay true to myself and where I want to be. And that's just my like little mental health tip for you guys, or not even mental health tip, just like, something that I feel like is very helpful for a mental health journey. I still have so many things to do. That's the craziest part about a little bit vacation, a little bit out of town. You just feel like you're playing catch up on your life and you're like, oh, like normally my day is so much easier, but I'm catching up on a lot right now. Um, so yeah, I, it's like 10.30 something. I like really need to finish cleaning my room and doing everything and then I can leave so I think I'm gonna get back to that. I just wanted to catch you guys up on that kind of stuff before I forgot because I tend to do that throughout my vlogging experiences. <laughs> so I'm gonna get back to that. Oh also it's almost 12, not exactly 12, but I made myself a snack. It's some apples and peanut butter, and I've been just snacking on it because I'm in my room, I'm trying to download videos on my laptop, I'm trying to get ready, I'm trying to clean, I'm trying to, like, I never could just stick to one thing, I'm trying to do so many things at once, so. I always get, like, a weird little snack that you could just constantly, like, pick up and keep going to, but, like, each bite is filling, and peanut butter is so filling, and apples, you know, you just can't go wrong, so. I always put that to the side. And then I'll just like be like, oh, I need a little snack again. Yeah. Pretty easy stuff. <laughs> but I'll see you guys most likely leaving or in the car. So, oh God, I'm going to choke. I can't do that. So I will see you guys very soon. <laughs> just got out of the gym. This is a moment. It's officially the first day back. I didn't think it would happen and it actually was as bad as I thought it would be. <laughs> oh man, I, I always forget what the damage you do when you take such a crazy amount of time off. And I probably got through five workouts and I actually can't feel my legs right now. I lost so much of my freaking strength, like I'm so disappointed in myself. But it's also kind of motivating because I know where I can take my body and at the same time I haven't been this week in a very long time. So I kind of can relate to all of my old clients that used to be like, they like legitimately was like, I cannot do this. And I was like, how? Like I never understood. Now I fully freaking get it, okay? Like, I'm dying. And once I get home, I'm going to um, tell you guys what workouts I did and why I did them, especially for my first day back. And I really only was there for 
55 minutes. Um, normally you could catch me in there for like an hour and 30. But I did good. I'm very shocked I even made it as far as I did. <sighs> that explains my situation right now. I am exhausted. So literally in the past three days I've gotten maybe six hours of sleep. And that's taboo for me right now. Because I found out how important sleep is. And I know better. So... I am like barely skating by right now when it comes to energy. So I'm gonna take a fat nap after I eat this fat bowl of broccoli and peas. Oh, I have some things to share with you guys. Okay. Okay, so I took off all my makeup because I felt really gross and I had time to get ready to see my friends now, so gross. <laughs> anyway, so today in my workout, I started off with squat press with the landmine machine. And this is probably one of my favorite beginning squats because it works like a goblet squat where it really counterbalances your balance. So if you're a beginner, it really puts you it sets you up for success because you're counterbalancing yourself and you have way more stability and you're just literally engaging in like full body, full on out. So you're squatting and then you're rising above with the landmine machine. And I actually did that for four sets and my legs literally felt like they were just going to fall. And I was like, okay, well, I am very weak now. And then, um, <clears throat> I went to RDLs, so I did RDLs, and that's where you have the landmine machine, and you almost you do a hinge, and then you squeeze. And I love this because it really helps engage in your hamstrings and your butt without putting any emphasis on your quads. A lot of people say squat for a booty when it's really like hinge and hip thrust for a booty because that is pure glutes and hamstrings rather than squatting and lunges are quad dominant. So that is a trick if you don't want to grow your quads or your legs, stick with hinge patterns and hip thrusts or anything that's engaging in your glutes and your hamstrings more than your quads. With me, I gotta finish this and then we'll get to it. Okay? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh wow. This is the thing, I haven't worked out in so long that I don't want to get myself too sore. Like because I want to go again tomorrow. So it's like, I don't want to get myself crazy sore and then not go for another week because that's just not my goal. So just always make sure to listen to your body. Like if you're already starting to feel like strands in your legs and your arms, it's like you did some damage. Like it's okay to go home after that, but I didn't. I went to work on some upper body. I want today to be a full body, but like not intense full body. So then I went to the little, like a little sitting area and I did eccentric push-ups and eccentric push-ups are where you get in the push-up position and you go down very slowly and you count to five and whenever people think that like those are easy, they're probably the hardest thing in the world if you can't do push-ups and they actually get you to a point where you could do push-ups. So I got to a point where I was able to do about 30 push-ups in a row. I was like super strong at them, but... Um, I rushed into it and I actually ended up hurting my elbow. I gave myself tennis elbow. So I know that I love when my camera dies on me. And I love when you come cuddle with me. I love you so much. <laughs> okay, so eccentric push ups. That's where I left off. So eccentric push ups, you, I already explained it. Are you freaking kidding me right now? <laughs> um, so it really, really, really strengthens your arms like you would not imagine. And I knew that tomorrow I want to do more so back and biceps. So I didn't really want to do too much on my arms, but I did like four sets of these eccentric push-ups. And my arms were like dead. And I highly, if you want really toned arms, literally incorporate eccentric push-ups and you could just do them like 
every two hours, just do 10 of them throughout your day. You could do them anywhere. They're the easiest exercise and they're so effective. Like push-ups for girls and guys, like push-ups are so underrated. Like literally learn how to do a push-up and you can do it anywhere and everywhere throughout your day and it keeps your arms pretty damn toned. It's unbelievable. So I did that. I did regular squats with no weight and lunges and the eccentric push-ups. And literally, that was enough. Like, I am so sore today. Like, it's insane. This is day one of like a very long break, so I'm not gonna be too intense on myself. If you're following this for yourself, I highly recommend, like, don't beat yourself up for not doing that crazy of a workout. Like, consistency is key, and you don't want to get off of track by being too sore. And like, I know that when I get really, really sore, like, it really, really discomforts me. And I just know that like the easier and easier I warm myself up into this, the harder and harder I can train in the future. And it's not a race. Like just calm yourself down and understand that these are goals for longevity, not for a transformation that you're going to continue to bounce back from. I was able to maintain my body for literally almost two years to where I was pretty damn consistent on my body and like, I could just take off my, I could just get in a bathing suit at any time of the year and look like I was in shape. And that's the kind of lifestyle I thrive for. I don't thrive for a lifestyle where it's like up and down, up and down. Like I'm a very consistent human. <laughs> so for me to take this long break, it was just truly to work on my mental health and just to get my mind back so far into this. So yeah, that was my workout and that's about it. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and welcoming back into the gym. I know that I'm not taking you guys into the gym with me, but honestly, it's because I feel like I just need to explain my workouts. I feel like you can Google all these workouts and see how it's done. I don't feel like there's that much benefit. I don't feel like there's that much of a benefit from seeing me work out. What I really want to start doing though is recording my workouts and then doing the voiceover after but that's going to take a lot of practice so for now i just really want to explain myself and why i do those workouts and yeah so i'll see you guys tomorrow